Hi, Jango. We start with the job market. The Moon administration has been trying to grow the economy by creating more jobs and boosting incomes. But the latest figures don't paint a pretty picture. We're still stuck in one of the worst unemployment crises in the country's history. Ko Doon Hee has the details. More disappointing figures on the job fronts for South Korea have been released. According to Statistics Korea on Friday, around 27 million people were employed in South Korea last month. That's up a mere 5,000 from the same period last year. It's also the first time since January 2010 that the number of newly employed people compared to the same month in the previous year has been so low. 2010 was a tough year for the South Korean economy as it struggled to cope with the brunt of the global financial crisis that started a couple of years earlier. In addition, the number of newly added jobs remained in the 100,000 range for six consecutive months in 2018. But last month, it plunged below the 10,000 mark. This is significantly lower than the last year's monthly average, which stood at 316,000 additional jobs. Breaking it down by industry, the number of newly added jobs in the manufacturing sector fell by 2.7 percent on-year. The education service sector also saw a decline. Statistics Korea says that while South Korean exports are increasing in certain sectors like semiconductors, ship and automobile exports remain depressed, which led to fewer new jobs being created in the manufacturing sector. Meanwhile, South Korea's overall jobless rate stood at 3.7 percent in July, up 0.3 percentage point from the previous year. The unemployment rate for young adults aged between 15 and 29 stood at 9.3 percent last month, unchanged from the previous year. Ko Arirang News.